What's up guys, back with a new installment on my zombie movie review series today. Going to be doing the 2008 remake. Um, I don't know if you'd call it a remake, but it's the 2008 uh, Day of the Dead. Messages, they're at the hospital. Half the town's sick. We're overwhelmed. What the hell happened here? Uh, over right here. Um, now this, if you if you watched the last video, this is where I talk about zombie movies that are horrible but I still like. This is definitely one of them. Um, I've watched this movie a bunch of times. And I really don't know how to explain this movie. Um, it kind of escalates super fast, but doesn't go anywhere, if that makes sense. Um, it's supposed to be loosely based off the, I think, what was it, 985? George Romero, Day of the Dead. Which, I don't really feel that it's a remake of it at all, besides the name. Um, I know one just recently came out two years ago, a year ago, uh, Day of the Dead Bloodlines. Which was more of an actual remake of that movie. It still sucked, but it was more accurate to be a remake. I don't really know what you would call this movie. It's not a remake, in my opinion. Um, but anyways, we'll get into the movie. Um... There's a couple of big names in this. I mean, I don't know if you say big. Got uh, Nick Cannon and Vin Vin Ray Vin, Yeah, Big Rains. Um, it's also Mina Cervera, which I don't know her. I don't recall. Oh, unless what is that? Who I think it is? Yeah, if it's I don't know her name, but um, I guess kind of the main characters sister. Um, she, I, I don't know if that's who that is or not. I know her. I've seen her in a bunch of movies, but I can't think of her name right now. But so you got a couple like, I would say B-rated actors. I like Big Rames. Um, he's actually in another great movie, another really good zombie movie, um, Dawn of the Dead. But anyways, um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you don't like zombie movies, you're not going to like this movie at all. Um, the characters are bad. It's a beautiful day here in Leadville, Colorado. That is, unless you're trying to leave. Cause the makeup's bad. The CGI when they use it's bad. <laughs> the story is okay for a zombie movie. Like I said in my War Wars Z video, I'm not going to do any spoilers um, for the movies, at least for now. Um, so I can't really go into much detail and talk about that. But the story for a zombie movie, it's not horrible. It's kind of your generic, what you expect out of the movie. Um, like I said, the zombies don't look bad when they're not CGI. These are everywhere. But in this one, they do a really weird zombie movement. They do the fast zombie movement like a lot of other movies do, like World War Z, World War Z did. But they can also crawl on walls, which I find a little odd. And unrealistic. I mean, I know we're talking about zombies, which isn't really realistic for the most part. Um, but even if you could consider zombies being real, I don't see them going off Spider-Man. Because at one point in the movie, it's not really a spoiler, a zombie jumps from the ground to the ceiling and crawls on the ceiling. That's a little much. That's really, I mean, taking... People watch this movie really have to just believe everything in this to the extreme or you're not going to like it. Um, but like I said, I felt like with this movie, with it being so poorly shot and acted, that you really just have to enjoy the genre in general to enjoy this movie. For me personally, I do like this movie. Like I said, it's a horrible movie, but I still like it. I, I just, I've always had a thing about zombies. I can't really explain that to you, but there's not many zombie movies I won't, I don't watch that I at least enjoy to an extent, whether well, there's some things about it that bug me, like I said, I mean, there's a lot of things that bug me about this movie, but I still enjoy it. Now, on a rating, would I give it a good rating? No. Like, I, th I think for this movie, I need to do two separate ratings, as in, which I might start doing that, actually. That might be something I do 
for the rest of these. I'll do a normal movie quality rating, okay? And then I'll do like my rating more as in like, you know, it's a dumb movie, I still enjoy it. What is that rating? If that makes sense. Um, so honestly, with the, the bad acting, the poor quality like CGI and graphics, and it didn't look great. It was very dark and gritty, which I understand is a horror movie. But you want that dark and gritty, but still be able to see what's going on. This one, there's some scenes where those two don't go together. Um, so there's a lot of negatives about the movie. Positives? Some of the kills look cool. Um, there's one big thing about this movie I did not like, which, like I said, I don't want to spoil it. If you've seen Land of the Dead, something in this movie kind of happens like that with the zombies, um, which I don't hate. I'm just not a massive fan of. I mean, it's fine. It doesn't... I don't hate a movie. I wouldn't hate it because of that only. But it does bug me. Um... They really rely on CGI for the transformation also, which I don't like. Um, because it looked... I mean, I wouldn't mind it if it didn't look so bad, but it's very poorly put together. So, for a movie quality rating, I'd probably go like a three. I mean, like I said, it's a really bad movie. Um, pretty much everything about it is not good. I mean, that's just how long I'm going to say about it. So, for a movie rating, I'm going to go a three. Now, for my personal rating, as far as, like, rating this in a zombie, um, like, only a zombie rating, like, with all the zombie movies out that I've watched, where would this movie be? Um, I would give it average, maybe above average, maybe between a five and a six. Um, I mean, if I had to choose one, I, w I would go six. Like I said, there's some things, I mean, I know I haven't really been able to tell you stuff I like about it, um, but it's really hard to do that without spoiling it. But it does have a lot of the classic zombie traits that I love, which helps me put that rating up, if that makes any sense. So, three for a normal standard rating, and then six for a zombie rating for me personally, as far as what I enjoy. <coughs> so, do I recommend going to see it? I mean, like I said earlier, if you like zombie movies, I would go see it. Or, I guess not go see it, because it's not theaters. Um, I think it was direct DVD, I'm pretty sure. Um, but go buy it. I mean, or even rent it on Voodoo or whatever. It's really cheap. I think I bought it on Blu-ray a couple of years back for like $4. I mean, it's not an expensive movie. and You can find it at most used uh, movie stores or game stores, whatever. Um, you might even find it at some stores new, you know, for like Walmart, the $5 bin. That's the type of movie this would be. Um, so that's the end of the review. This is the second movie I will be reviewing for my zombie series. The next one will most likely be either Dawn of the Dead or Land of the Dead. I have to rewatch both of them before I can do it. Um, I actually did this one in World War Z back to back. So that's why if you see I'm wearing the same shirt, that is why, before you guys think I just don't shower. Um, so I will be doing most likely Land of the Dead next because I just recently watched it so I can review it, you know, without having to rewatch it. So hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Day of the Dead.